Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my 16 week pregnancy update. So if you'd like to see how my 16th week is going, then keep watching. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Charlotte, I'm 29, nearly 30, I know, I know, and I am mum to Bill who is 5, Daisy who is in the room with me at the moment who is 17 months and I'm expecting our third baby in March 2018 and we don't as of yet know the gender, <laughs> but yeah, um, I am back today, I'm 16 weeks pregnant and two days and yeah it's been quite a, like an eventful week really in terms of like symptoms and things like that so I thought I would just get right on into how I've been doing Um, if you remember or you watched my last update then you'll know I had a really bad cold and I have to say I'm only just coming out of it now and I've probably had it for nearly like two weeks Um, it's been pretty brutal and I have struggled Um, but I am feeling a lot better and it's amazing actually the difference now because just before I got the cold I was kind of coming out of the queasiness slowly and now I would have to say that I still get a really gross taste in my mouth it's like really sour and tangy which I have at the moment and it seems to get worse when I'm hungry which I am at the moment so that's the only thing that tends to bother me I'm still a bit iffy with some foods um, and I seem to be craving a lot of things at the moment which is really irritating because they're not great foods I'll be honest with you um, and they're like uh, what is it like carbs mainly I'm really into like sweets and chocolate which is just not like me especially after doing Slimming World and everything like that it's like all these things that I just wouldn't gravitate towards anymore and I, I love them. Fresh orange juice, particularly smooth Tropicana is like the nectar of the gods for me at the moment but that's quite high in sugar so I have to be careful with how much of that I'm drinking. Um, but yeah I am able to eat things like chicken again and broccoli again which were things that made me feel really sick in the first trimester and I'm generally feeling like quite good. I would say that I have had a dip with energy in the past week or so but I think that's mainly down to being quite busy and also really really unwell. We've been trying to do a lot of stuff around the house at the moment to get ready for this baby. I know that it's still about six months until they're here um, but there's just been like so much stuff that's built up that we've needed to do and now we're sort of going through and doing it also sorting through both kids clothes because obviously if this is a boy we'll be getting rid of loads of Daisy's old clothes and if it's a girl then we'll be getting rid of loads of Bill's old clothes so it's just been one of those things where we've been hoarding things for so long and now we're like at that point where we're nearly able to get rid of them all um, and we've just been making space and getting jobs done and trying to sort everything out and I am absolutely exhausted but I feel like I'm already nesting which is such a weird experience let me tell you <laughs> um other symptoms have been that and I know it's a little bit TMI but I'm gonna go there in case you you have it too and you've been sat there like okay this is a bit weird but I've been getting more discharge than normal and I know it's normal because I've had two pregnancies before but it's like amped it up again sorry Daisy wanted to show me but yeah that's been it's been quite interesting it's not like a fun symptom of pregnancy but it shows that everything's working normally as it should be. Another thing I've been getting quite a lot of is like cramp in my legs and feet and it's really really starting to irritate me. It's normally when I'm relaxing and my legs are out straight and I'm lying on the sofa or I'm in, I'm in bed and then they just seize up and they really hurt and like Mark seen it happen a few times and my, my toes go all like weird and yeah it's something that I've had with every single pregnancy I had it really badly with Daisy and I don't know if it's like a salt thing because obviously sometimes muscle and um, tension and cramps can be due to a lack of salt so I'm just keeping an eye on that but it's not bothering me enough too much um and one thing that I'm really loving at the moment is that my skin is in amazing condition. Um, I don't really feel like I have to wear makeup when I go out, but I do just a bit of concealer because the panda eyes are, are real. Um, but it's just been nice to sort of have that back hi, again hi. because he's, hi, hi. he's saying hi. Yeah. And in terms of like looks and appearances as well, my hair is so thick but getting quite dry. And I've been talking to my hairdresser about getting it cut and sorted out because it's just it doesn't feel like it's in as good a condition as normal and I'm not having to wash it as much either and it's just quite weird because I would say that I have like relatively normal hair with like greasy roots generally um so this is like the opposite end of the spectrum and I'm like dry shampoo I'm not even sure if I need you anymore um but yeah things have been going well I feel like I'm getting into maternity clothes a bit more this top is a maternity top that I wore with Daisy so it's been really nice to wear that again because it's like deja vu and I got my old like maternity pajamas out 
out and things like that which has been so comfy at night because it just gets to a point where you can't wear your normal stuff without being a little bit uncomfortable another thing we're talking about is the fact that i had my midwife appointment and um, that was on tuesday which is when i was exactly 16 weeks and everything was fine i had my blood pressure taken and my urine checked and everything was a-okay with me and we got to hear baby's heartbeat and bill and daisy were in the room with me because well, all of my family are away on holiday at the moment, so no one could take them for me for like the hour while I was there. Um, and I would definitely recommend someone try, like having your kids if you can try and do that because it was quite stressful <laughs> to say the least. But they got to listen to the heartbeat as well. And Bill was like, oh, that was quite scary then, wasn't it, Mama? Because there was like loads of whooshing noises as well as the midwife tried to find the heartbeat. Um, but it's good to know that everything's okay uh, because I feel, and I'm quite curious to see when we have our gender scan, which I've get to in a moment um but yeah i'm quite curious to see if i have is it an anterior placenta or is it the front because i don't feel like i'm feeling this baby move perhaps as much as i did with daisy but i don't know why that could be i'm not really sure normally my placenta tends to be at the back and at the top really out of the way so i've never had that before um i have felt wiggles i think and they're still more squirmy than pops or butterflies so i feel like i've skipped a bit to be honest um but i'm missing it and i really really hope I it like all kicks in pun intended soon sorry my um my battery ran out then but yeah i i am um, what was i saying i really do hope that i can feel this baby move more soon because i i miss it and it's like that thing that you really start to look forward to and i'm only 16 weeks so i'm not panicking as such but i do want to see where my placenta is when i have my gender scan which is it it's thursday today and our scan is on saturday so it's in two days and we could not be more excited we just could not be more excited i cannot wait to find out who is in there um not really that we've got like a specific preference um but just more so we like know who to expect and we can plan a little bit more um obviously we just had a girl so in one way it would be nice to have a boy because it'd be like a new experience again plus me and mark have not genetically had a son between us because bill is obviously mark's stepson even though he's been in bill's life for gosh years and years now since bill was like her age pretty much so um even though he knows what it's like to have a son and we both know what it's like to have a son it's like i'm curious to see what our boy would look like but i don't think it matters either way chicken monkey i have posted my scan photos on a few like gender nub theory groups on facebook and every single one said so far that they are leaning towards boy and i honestly do think it's the boy but then when i posted it on like you know my personal facebook page or like my you know blog facebook page um everybody thinks it's a girl so i am just i'm super super curious to find out um, and it's gonna be really exciting so yeah i know i've spoken about this a lot but i'm so so excited another thing we've had to deal with this week which has been a little bit tough um to sort of sort of get your head around i guess is the fact that we finally got our scan date through for the specialist scan at manchester which is at the end of october and it's great because it's great that things are progressing and it's great that i know and we can prepare and stuff but i'm also very scared and when i got the phone call afterwards i just burst into tears because i think for the past few weeks i've kind of been able to kid myself that you know it's just a normal pregnancy and i'm having a baby and la 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 but i don't think i realized how much it was at the back of my mind and when you actually sit down and think about it if this baby is poorly like daisy was it's not going to be easy it's just not and it's hard because i think a lot of the time i look at daisy now and i think oh no she's fine she's perfect she's beautiful but if this baby is poorly and does have stickler syndrome like i did and like daisy did then there are going to have to be a lot of things that we've got to get sorted like the specialist bottles and like um get the drawers out of the garage again and clean them over ready for all the hospital equipment that we're going to need to store at home and just make sure that like the pram which we have actually pre-ordered by the way um is you know suitable for the suction machine and the monitor that will need to go in the basket if we do it's just there's just a lot and it's like a lot of stuff that i think when daisy was tiny i didn't really document that much because i was struggling and we just didn't i didn't have time for youtube and that's another worry because youtube is my job now and if this baby is poorly then 
I'm gonna have to make videos, which is a very hard thing to do when you're in a bad place. And if I don't do that, then we won't be able to afford to pay our bills. And that's a little bit, a little bit scary. So I think I need to really get my head in the game and be ready for this scan and be prepared for whatever outcome. And fingers crossed, obviously, you know, fingers crossed that this is, is the news that we're hoping for and everything's fine, but, I don't know, I'm rambling, I know I'm rambling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you my belly and then I'm going to let you go. So I am finally wearing something where I can show my tummy off properly. Um, this is a maternity top that I was telling you about and I really do feel like I've got a proper bump now. I'm still in normal leggings but they are starting to dig in a little bit as you can see but they're still comfortable if I like pull them all the way up. But yeah, that is my 16 week bump with baby number three. So yeah, that is everything. Sorry for a bit of a rambly one, but it's just the way that things are this week. Um, I was thinking of maybe doing a, um, you know, like gender test, like old wives tales and, you know, that sort of thing. So let me know if you'd like to see that and I'll try and do that like sometime this week before we have our scan. But also let me know if you'd like me to do a review of the pram that we've chosen because we've ordered that and I'm really excited and if you'd like to see, then let me know. But yeah, I am going to love you and leave you. I hope you have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you next time time.